Today marks 50 years since the greatest technological achievement in human history. The eagle has landed. Fate has a way of writing us into stories we never wish to be a part of. This is the story of Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon and probably the first to meet with aliens face to face. Nothing about the months-long training NASA had given Armstrong prepared him for a chance meeting with aliens on the moon. It was never in the plan. So imagine how terrified Armstrong was when he faced extraterrestrial creatures he was not prepped for. He couldn't stay back in the spaceship because NASA's watchful eyes were on him and he was expected to walk on the moon and hoist the United States flag. Landed, explored, got back up again, rendezvoused, came back. That's 50 years of non-progress. Yet the aliens were glaring back at him for intruding into their base. The famous astronaut was between the devil and the deep blue sea. How did Armstrong manage to defuse the situation and make the heroic walk over the moon? Why is this part missing from the Apollo 11 mission report? And why has NASA refused to release an official statement about their bumping into aliens? Join us as we explore questions that have remained unanswered since Neil Armstrong revealed Apollo 11's terrifying encounter with aliens. On August 25, 2012, the world got the shocking news that threw the scientific community into sadness. We had experienced a great loss as one of the gems that the universe had blessed us with had passed on. Although his light had been quenched, it was hard to forget his amazing deeds, having left a trail of them behind. Across the world, condolence messages poured in for the Armstrong family and the United States at large. There was no stopping the fact that the death of Neil Armstrong would make international news, given the calibre of man that he was. That, this was not the first time that Armstrong would make international news. The first time, which many consider the highlight of his life, was when he achieved something historic, a tale that has been gold for years and would be told to generations to come. The world knows Neil Armstrong for being the first man to walk on the moon unlocking a world of possibilities in man's space exploration efforts. He was the lead astronaut of the famous Apollo 11 team that was the first set of human explorers to travel down to the moon successfully and gave the United States bragging rights over the Soviet Union, its arch enemy at the time. Although it has been over five decades since Armstrong and his comrades created this memorable story, it is hard not to keep reminiscing about this moment, especially if there are some unanswered questions about the first moon landing. If you're hearing for the first time that there are controversies surrounding the Apollo 11 team's landing on the moon's surface, then it means that NASA has got you hoodwinked too. You don't have to beat yourself up for that because the space agency is quite good at this game and has earned a reputation for often keeping certain discoveries away from the public under the guise of classified files. NASA has tried its best to drown some of these controversies in our fast-paced, noisy world, and it has mainly been successful. To NASA's credit, we would have to admit that some of these controversies are purely conspiracy theories cooked up by some individuals to stir up heat in the media and generate unnecessary public attention. Hence, the reason the space agency has been successful in ensuring such controversies remain backstage and never become the mainstream discussion in the scientific community. However, one controversy that has refused to be swallowed up by NASA's antics is the shocking discovery that Neil Armstrong saw when he first landed on the moon. This is one discovery that rattled the top echelon at NASA and they were boxed into a corner to make a quick decision make the discovery public or sweep it under the carpet. In their panic, they chose the latter, and this singular decision helped close an opening door in human understanding of the universe. And this was how a historic story never made it to the headlines, but was only told in hushed voices and secret documents at NASA's headquarters. Although we can't confirm the collaboration of the United States government in burying this story, one thing we can be assured of is that it would have been better if this story had come out earlier. The truth couldn't stay hidden for long, 
and like a cut down stump that has started to grow leaves once more, this story has emerged from the deep wells of NASA into the open and nothing is stopping it from remaining in the light. What's so special about this story that NASA felt our ears didn't deserve to know about? This thrilling story began on July 16, 2022, when the American spaceship Apollo 11 bade a brief goodbye to the Earth's surface, heading for its maiden visit to the Moon. This story is filled with many protagonists, chief among them is NASA. Next on the list is the Saturn V rocket from the Kennedy Space Center, Merritt Island, Florida, that was used to launch the spaceship into space. Although this was the fifth crewed mission of the Apollo program, this one was so different because the three astronauts involved had been entrusted with a far greater mandate than their predecessors. The trio of Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins had only one main goal which was to land the spaceship on the moon's surface successfully, and they had no plans of failing. The men had undergone months of training in preparation for this one-of-a-kind spaceflight. It had been decided early on that Armstrong would be the commander of the ship, while Aldrin and Collins would serve as the lunar module pilot and command space pilot, respectively. Historically, this was the men's second spaceflight, and it ended up being their last. With confident faces, the astronauts boarded the spaceship and did their best to enjoy their eight-day long spaceflight. What's so exciting about this journey is that the world was well aware of it, and we got to follow it and partake in the joy of the historic moment when Neil Armstrong first walked on the moon. The launch of the spacecraft had been watched live by an estimated one million spectators who stood at the highways and beaches of the vicinity of the site including the government officials who had watched from within the site. Later on, millions of people across the globe watched the transmitted broadcast of Armstrong and Aldrin waltzing through the moon's surface in their spacesuits. The men had landed on the moon six hours earlier before they could step out of the ship. According to official reports, over 600 million people watched on as Armstrong made the world proud by being the first man to step on the moon's surface. He was followed closely by Aldrin, and the duo began to perform some scientific investigations on the Earth's famous satellite. The journey from the Earth to the moon was quite an interesting but challenging one for the astronauts. They had achieved something previously thought to be unimaginable, and they had the honour of having their exploits broadcast to millions of people. However, what they were never prepared for was that the people back on Earth weren't the only ones monitoring their actions. Other hidden eyes had monitored the arrival of the astronauts from the time they began the lunar descent till when they exited the moon. These invisible eyes monitored every single move, and we later found out that they belonged to extraterrestrials. The climax of this remarkable story is that Armstrong got to see these extraterrestrials. The Apollo visit gave him a chance to meet with aliens, creatures he hadn't anticipated seeing. There was nothing in the training modules that NASA had taught him that prepared him for the wonder his eyes got to behold. You might be wondering how we missed this significant moment in space history. You don't need to look far away because the culprit is our beloved US space agency. What many people don't know is that the Apollo 11 space story that the heroic astronauts were writing paused for a moment, giving room for NASA to deck a card they hadn't even anticipated they would need. It happened that Armstrong's radio transmission had failed temporarily due to an overheating issue. Thus, for the first two minutes of Armstrong's walk on the moon, we couldn't hear what he was saying despite his lips moving. There was a glint in his eyes as he spoke, Yet NASA couldn't get whatever message he was communicating, forcing their minds to run wild to decipher what he was saying. Therefore, the first two minutes were never aired, and this singular moment would have been lost in history if the communication hadn't been recorded. Even though the Apollo team on Earth was thrown into confusion for a short while, Armstrong was having the time of his life. His eyes were beholding things he had never expected to see on the moon. He had come face to face with one of the long kept secrets of the universe and he didn't fail to express his surprise in words. 
Although the rest of the world didn't get to hear Armstrong's astonished voice as he gazed at a wonder on the lunar surface, this historic moment was recorded. And when the recording got to NASA engineers, they were shocked by the words coming out of the astronaut's mouth. These babies are huge, sir, enormous. Oh God, you wouldn't believe it. I'm telling you, there are other spacecraft out here lined up on the far side of the crater's edge. They are on the moon watching us, Armstrong said over the radio, the excitement evident in his voice. Now, you are probably wondering if this isn't some made up story. It isn't and has been confirmed to be the truth. Maurice Chatelain, former NASA's Chief of Communications, is one of the top NASA officials who have confirmed the words attributed to Armstrong. Shatlin went further to reveal that Armstrong and Aldrin had spotted two UFOs hovering above the moon just before they landed on its surface. Shocking! And he documented this moment in his book, Our Cosmic Ancestors, published in 1988. It's a bit surprising that this secret has been lying in the open for years, waiting for us to bring it to light. With this revelation by Shatlin, there is no need to read within the lines to get the message he is trying to pass across. It is obvious already. The Apollo astronauts had come in contact with aliens, yet this historic event has been swept under the carpet for years by you know who. It's not the first time the space agency is keeping secrets about extraterrestrial existence from the public. It has become their trademark. Why is NASA so hell bent on hiding discoveries about extraterrestrial life? This is one question that only the space agency can answer for themselves. However, one thing is clear. The Apollo team's visit to the moon unlocked a major door in our understanding of extraterrestrials. It's only sad that this moment has been taken out of the history books and everyone has been forced to go with the narrative that NASA cooked up. This narrative is one of the ways NASA keeps advocating its support for the Great Silence Theory, which suggests that life on Earth is so unique that the chances of having similar success on other planets are very slim. Therefore, NASA wants us to keep believing that we are the only intelligent civilization in the universe. And we could have ridden along with this narrative forever if there hadn't been evidence that pointed us in a different direction. There is no arguing the fact that humans are a one-of-a-kind civilization, but we would be short-sighted to think that we are the only civilization out there in our vast universe. The world doesn't stop at our solar system. The universe is far bigger than we can imagine or picture as we gaze into the night sky from our homes. The universe is filled with an innumerable amount of galaxies, which in turn are littered with stars and these stars definitely have several planets orbiting around them. So what NASA is trying to tell us is that we are the only existing civilization in such a massive universe. It's hard to swallow such such pill. Extraterrestrials are living just like us somewhere in the universe, and some shreds of evidence attest to this thought. This is where we open the curtain on UFO sightings. For decades now, UFO sightings have made the news, proving that extraterrestrials are out there. Annually, hundreds of UFOs are sighted across the globe, yet NASA and the authorities would have us believe that they are military aircraft on surveillance or testing assignments. From aviators, astronauts and military personnel to the average Joe, many people have spotted unidentified flying objects in space and on Earth. These UFOs are proof that we are not the only intelligent civilization out there in the universe. In fact, these guys seem to be more advanced than us if we are to consider the sophistication of the crafts that have been seen flying over our airspace or close to the rooftops of homes. Funny enough, these UFO sightings didn't start in the 20th or 21st century. They have been around for much longer, even before we started dreaming of traveling to space. Furthermore, we don't know how long these aliens have been around, but we can bank on the fact that they have been watching us for a long time without us knowing. They have chosen to remain in the dark, only visiting the Earth whenever they are on an official visit. To add to their mystery, we don't know where their base is. We can only speculate that they live very far away in some exoplanet or an alternative universe. However, fate finally gave us a breakthrough. 
we have been able to pinpoint one location where aliens are actually thriving, and we owe this to the Apollo expedition and Armstrong's communication. It's only natural that Armstrong would have been sworn to secrecy by NASA. This explains why he never went public with his discovery after he saw that NASA had taken out that audio recording from the rest of the broadcast. More so, NASA had conveniently lost the original tapes of that famous moon visit. It's hard not to smell the rat in this story. The universe has a great sense of humour when we glean over this story for another moment. For years, we have been on the lookout for concrete evidence, one that is difficult to trash, that proves that aliens do exist. Our wish finally came to pass the day the human race stepped foot on the moon. Who would have thought that the extraterrestrials were hiding so close by? When we look at this story from another angle, they were actually not hiding. If they were, Armstrong wouldn't have set his eyes on them, owing to the fact that they were aware of the Apollo 11 impending arrival. If the aliens were given a chance to tell this story in their own way, they would probably accuse us of being intruders who had dropped by their house unannounced. The only reason we might be winning this argument is that we were never aware that the moon was their base up until the moment. And when we finally found out, what did we do? NASA chose to classify the discovery, sealing it in files that would never make it to the public. This would have continued to be our fate if some people hadn't chosen to speak up. Mark Armstrong is one of them. Mark, who is Neil Armstrong's son, has revealed that his father believed in aliens. This revelation sent shockwaves across the space exploration community, opening a canker worm that many thought had long been closed. Mark's admittance that his father believed in alien life has raised dust within NASA as their long-kept secret is finally being unraveled. If Neil Armstrong believes that aliens exist, it only confirms what we already know, that our man had spotted extraterrestrials on the moon. Nevertheless, it seems Mark, who was six when Neil achieved this greatness on behalf of the human race, has also been sworn to secrecy because he hasn't revealed whatever transpired during those early moments on the moon. According to Mark, even though he was an atheist, he did believe that alien forms existed in our universe. Mark confirmed that the late astronaut believed that our universe was so vast for us to be the only intelligent civilization operating inside. Surprisingly, when Mark was asked in an interview whether his father had come in contact with aliens, he refused to answer. We don't need to probe further, because the writing is evident on the wall. We have been fixated on Neil Armstrong for a while. Let's take a break from mentioning the man's name for a moment. Do you know that he wasn't the only one on that historic space flight who had come across aliens? His mate, Buzz Aldrin, had also spotted UFOs while on the moon. Aldrin made this revelation in 2005, long before Armstrong passed away in an interview. Although Aldrin never confirmed seeing aliens, he revealed that the 1969 Apollo 11 crew had seen these unidentified objects in space. Aldrin's confession unlocked another entrance into the secret fortress of extraterrestrial existence that NASA has kept away from us. From what Aldrin told us, these unidentified objects had followed the Apollo 11 spacecraft up until the time they landed on the moon's surface. According to Aldrin, he had asked the question, there was something out there close enough to be observed, and what could it be? In response, the third astronaut, Michael Collins, attempted to observe the objects via the craft's telescope, and he did succeed. However, the only observation could only take place when the UFO was in one position with a series of ellipses, and the first object appeared in the telescope as L-shaped. Armed with this information from Collins, Aldrin was torn between two choices, reporting the observations or not. He decided to go with the latter. According to him, he chose not to report the incident because he feared that it might jeopardize the mission. Multiple people were monitoring the space flight, and he feared that if they had asked the team to help confirm whatever the UFO was, it might cause panic on Earth. Aldrin was scared that by communicating his observations back to the Apollo team on Earth, 
he might have been instructed to turn back because of aliens or whatever it was that was tailing them. Did Aldrin and the others make a good call by refusing to report the incident at that time? This is a subjective question because it's bound to generate mixed reactions from different quarters. Nevertheless, we are glad that Aldrin finally put this information out there for the public to know. We have been in the dark for so long about the untold events that transpired during the 1969 Apollo 11 mission. It's only fair that these accounts that validate the existence of alien life sneak out one at a time. It has made it easier to piece the puzzle together. The thing about this puzzle is that it didn't start with the Apollo 11 mission. Before the astronauts ever set foot in the space path that led to the moon, other astronauts had seen unidentified flying objects in the Earth's orbit or space. There have been multiple accounts of space crews identifying mysterious objects en route to their different missions. However, one nagging question about this issue is why there hasn't been an official statement confirming these accounts. Why are the authorities bent on sweeping these stories under the radar? And for how long would this continue? Although we might never get the answer to these questions, we should take consolation in the fact that Armstrong got to meet these aliens on our behalf, confirming that some of us haven't been insane to believe that they do exist and are thriving right under our noses. From all indications, it is obvious that the authorities are well aware that the moon is an alien base. Who knows what secret expeditions NASA has carried out to the moon without telling us? they could have started interfacing with these extraterrestrials behind our backs and could have begun exploring alien technology under the guise of moon exploration. Let's not forget that Armstrong and Aldrin had collected samples of the lunar surface and brought them back to the Earth. Who knows what peculiar discovery about extraterrestrial life these samples might have revealed? Until new discoveries emerge, or NASA benevolently decides to declassify some files, we can only allow our imaginations to run amok in the meantime. Endless possibilities have been birthed from the maiden visit to the moon. But there is a possibility that there are several other alien civilizations out there in our universe. Hopefully, astronomers will uncover concrete evidence that opens us into the world of these extraterrestrials in the near future. Thanks for watching this Voyager video till the end. For more exciting space discoveries, click the next video on the screen.